Hi, Frank here from Build Drone. Okay, we're going to jump into another Gran Turismo Sport gameplay video. But remember, this is a channel that builds prices and options new cars directly from the manufacturer website. I just happen to like Gran Turismo. I've been playing it since I've been playing Gran Turismo for 20 years. It's been around since 97 and I've been playing it since probably about 2000. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go uh, around Mount Panorama Motor Racing Circuit. I think they also call it Bathurst. And we're going to do Expert for our racy, Racing Difficulty Selection. And we'll also watch the, rape, the replay after we do the race. I just did this race in the 1981 Porsche 911 Turbo. They also call it the 930 Turbo. And it actually handled fantastic. I ran stock horsepower. I completely lightened it up, but I ran stock horsepower. And I ran super soft tires, racing super soft tires. And yeah, it was quite nice. We'll see if we like the, uh, we'll see if we, uh, how I like this uh, Camaro comparatively. So it's got the same tires, running the same tires. Uh, I've got full weight reduction on this car. So it's down to 3,200 pounds. It's actually just a smidge, it's actually a smidge lighter than the 911 Turbo, which is crazy. The 911 Turbo was 3,200 and maybe 65 pounds. This one is, looks like we got uh, 3,205 over there. We can't actually get down to that. But the power level, where are we at on power? I put the power back down to 649. I mean, we could ramp this power all the way up to 1,007, but I'm not really trying to do that. I want to use like 100% of this power. And this car makes 649-ish horsepower, 650 horsepower, 640 pound-feet of torque. Basically, this car has a, a, a Corvette engine in it. It's got a Corvette engine in it, basically. All right, so, yeah, there we are on all of that. Everything else, brakes, suspension, all that stuff is standard. Haven't done anything different with that. So, with that said, I use the drive lines and all that stuff. I like that stuff. I actually still use a, a controller. I don't have a steering wheel as of yet. Made that stick. Two passes. Turn one, a lot better start than the 911, I'll tell you that much. If you watch that video, I'll put a link up. Check that video out. Much better start in this car than uh, that one. I don't know, I must not have been paying attention on the force. I don't know. Oh, uh, Lamborghini's got some pace, huh? Took a second. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I tried not to hit you, but uh, it is what it is. I'm tearing him up. I am just tearing him up. There we go. Let me get around you. Still working on this guy. Let me get him up here. Get on to this other business. The business of getting the T1. Can I go flat out in this? I did in the Porsche. Yes, but it wants you to hit the brakes fast. Oh, oh, sorry, man. Good thing he was there. Thanks for catching me. I owe you one. Because I was surely headed to the grass. 
Okay, so I learned a lesson on that. Yeah, you can go high speed all the way flat out through that. It wants you to be on the brakes soon you come around that turn. You better be on the brakes right away. I kind of late break that. And so that threw me off into the grass because I thought, oh, let me be sporty and see if I can late break. I like the late break. And that works until it doesn't. But we're in P3. What do we got up there? A Ferrari, La Ferrari, and a Bugatti Veyron up front. So we're not going to probably catch them on the straightaways. But we're going to get them in the curves up here in the hills. I mean, look how we're climbing on them here. Let me see if I can get around him without actually, like, totally smashing into him, huh? If you watch my 911 video, you can see that I, I can drive. Sometimes you just get a bad start or you just do some crash and it happens. But I'm going to keep this video. We're going to record it. We're going to put it up on the channel. They don't all have to be perfect. I do like the driving dynamics of a front engine rear wheel drive car as opposed to, say, that 911 turbo with the rear engine rear wheel drive. It's just the handling dynamics are just way different. And for me, a little bit unpredictable. I mean, the way that car I had it set up is fine, but the more horse, if I put more horsepower in it, it would probably be a little unruly. This Camaro is nice. Like I said, I did a build and price review of a brand new 2019 Camaro CL11. I don't remember what they what they MSRP for, but like I said, I'm going to put the link up, or I already did. They're sweet cars. I did a walk-around review of a 2017 as well, not a ZL1. I'll put a link up to that video as well. That car was blue, and it was really, really nice. I took that car down to the Chevy dealer because I wanted to get some performance parts on it. It was a friend of mine's car. Yeah, that didn't work out. I did a video of that as well. I just went and gave that launch off there. out the front, last lap. We'll watch the replay after this, because I like to watch the replays. Oh, I was late breaking, late breaking. Am I going to make it? Yes. Like Mount Panorama Motor Racing Circuit, also I guess called Bathurst, perhaps? Call Bathurst? Maybe not. There's a sign down here on the side as we go down this hill. It's going to say Bathurst. This might not be Bathurst. Though. I don't think it is. I said something about that in the other video, so. That was obviously not right. Go, buddy, go! Oh! I tried not to do too much break on that. That didn't really work out. Where's that bathroom sign? We already passed it. Break right when they say to get on the brake. There we go. Oh, there's homeboy right behind me. I didn't even I wasn't even looking in the rearview mirror. Oh no. There we go. I don't think so, home slice. There it is. Alright. We took P1. It was a little bumping, a little grinding. It wasn't the prettiest race, but we took the victory. Let's check out the replay. 
Actually, after we collect our earnings summary here. All right, then. Let's watch the replay. Problem start. Oh! head he got jacked up
Ferrari is all over. Panorama Motor Racing Circuit. Yes, it is. Love this circuit. I love this circuit a lot. I actually like the Camaro ZL1 1LE package for 2018. I really still like that 1981 Porsche, and I love it, to be honest with you. We're going to drive some other cars uh, around this track. We're going to do a lot of other cars around this track, and then we'll move on to other tracks and stuff. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Thanks for watching. Make sure you watch some of my other videos. I've already put links up in the corner. I've also put those links in the description below. With that said, have a wonderful day. I'll see you on the very next video.